Eu não consigo tirar. So this one here shows uh, the piston right here. So the one you see here, the piston is under compression. How do I know that? The two valves are closed. The two valves are closed. So you want to have the maximum clearance uh, in the cam. The piston is all the way up at TDC. And uh, hopefully everybody knows that my TDC stands for top channel, BDC stands for, for bottom channel. And the distance between them is the stroke. TDC is the high point, the piston can reach going up. BDC is the lowest, test, the lowest point, the piston can reach going down. So hopefully this is the difference. I think this slide took some of the same stuff. Use the range on the crankshaft for 40 more seconds, second gear, we will of the ground and bump the engine into the stage. So he's using, he's still using for the second gear. Uh, also for the first gear, it should work as well. Another way to find uh, top the center is to look at the uh, timing window. Here is the timing window. On, on my left side is the timing window. Some bikes have it, some don't have it. And be sure T. So the word T means uh, top the center. You have a mark, be sure that mark is aligned with the mark on the housing. Uh, the letter F stands for fire. Uh, don't use it, use only the one that says T for top of the set. Be sure they are aligned perfectly. If they are aligned, that means you are at, at EDC. But be sure you are aligned at EDC for compression. Like I said, how do you do that? Look at the cam, be sure the loops are down. Sit here, most manual would say to find TDC, then determine whether you are on overlock or off compression by wiggling the valves here, like the rockers. Like the rockers, if you have rockers. There should be no movement while movement, while movement is possible on TDC compression. Only well, works if the testing is closed. Uh, we'll talk about this and stuff. Anyway, this power point will be posted after I finish. Again, it shows the person at TDC right there. Today, hopefully, hopefully, when we go back to the class classroom, uh, any, anytime anybody wants to know that he can perform that thing, if you took the engine over home, uh, we did this adjustment on the engine. You have you have to do it yourself. I mean, you can just do all the adjustment by by watching this PowerPoint. You have to put your hands and do it yourself. So when we go back, guys. Uh, I owe everybody more time in the lab to perform that job. Remember that. Okay, here, here is the tool we're using to to do the valve adjustment. I gave this one. We talk about uh, all of them. All of them. You gotta use this tool, which is the uh, filler gauge. You gotta use it to check the clearance. And you wanna be sure uh, that the clearance is the same clearance in the service manual. So normally service manual are gonna say, uh, let's say, like for Honda, let's say 0.12 for exhaust, 0.12 millimeter for exhaust, uh, 0.1 for intake. You gotta go and pick up the right filler 
and try to uh, insert it between uh, the, the, the rocker and the valve. If you see some kind of drag, or not drag, some uh, grab, you are in the right uh, clearance. If there's no grab and it's loose, then that is, needs to be adjusted. So remember, engine must be called to check clearance. Get my point. Everybody else follow me? Somebody see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, engine has to be called guys. That's the bottom line. So, if I ask you, where are you going to insert the filler gauge? Remember, there are going to be two. If you have rocker up, if you have rockers, like the one behind me, sorry, the one behind me doesn't have rockers. If you don't have rockers, it's going to be right here. You're going to put the, the filler gauge right here. So you have the, that set up on the, board, on the board, and then the different colors so you guys can see it. Here is the cam, and here is the robot there. So you're going to put the filler gauge right here. Here is the filler gauge. How about if you have so this one doesn't have a rocker. You put the filler gauge straight between the cam and the, the what's called this one. I just told you what this one. That's about the what do you mean piece of this? Frames. This yeah. piece. Frames. This is the house. That that's the bucket guy. Oh the bucket. That's the bucket. Bucket. Okay. Yeah. So the bucket is gonna is gonna house the uh, the spring. The bucket goes on the. Oh, the bucket will house the, the springs. Well, I thought you yeah, mentioned yeah. earlier. You mentioned earlier there was the house. It will house. The, okay. This is just a terrible picture. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, I'll find another picture. 